I might throw up on you. You're doing fine. <laughs> you don't seem afraid at all. I don't understand that. Well, fear is sort of an odd thing. When I was in residency, my first solo procedure was a spinal surgery on a 16-year-old kid, a girl. And at the end, after 13 hours, I was closing her up, and I, I accidentally ripped her dural sac. It's right at the base of the spine where all the nerves come together. The membrane is thin as tissue. And so it, it ripped open. <laughs> And the nerves just spilled out of her like angel hair pasta. Spinal fluid flowing out of her. I... And the terror was just so crazy. So real. And I knew I had to deal with it. So I just made a choice. I'd let the fear in, let it take over, let it do its thing. But only for five seconds, that's all I was going to give it. So I started to count. One, two, three, four, five. And it was gone. I went back to work, sewed her up, and she was fine. If that had been me, I think I would have run for the door. No, I don't think that's true. You're not running now.